President Moon Jae-in has ratified the agreement he reached with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in Pyongyang last month. The South Korean leader signed it off a few hours after his cabinet approved it. It's hoped the declaration will help efforts to denuclearize the North, lay the groundwork for inter-Korean economic cooperation, and hopefully lead to lasting peace. However, the president's decision to ratify without awaiting the National Assembly's approval has incensed the opposition. Our Shin Se-min starts us off. The Moon Jae-in administration has ratified the Pyongyang Joint Declaration and the military agreement, which were both reached by the two Koreas at the third Moon Kim summit last month. He said the agreement reached by the leaders of the two Koreas will help speed up the North's denuclearization while laying the foundations for economic opportunities for the South. President Moon added that the ratification of the inter-Korean agreement will first and foremost benefit residents living near the border area, as they had long been disadvantaged. And he called on related ministries to do their part in carrying out the ratified declaration. President Moon said inducing the regime to change and become a normal state through dialogue and cooperation could in a way improve the human rights conditions in the North, rather than simply pressuring the regime. The ratification comes as the Ministry of Government Legislation had said that the Pyongyang Joint Declaration does not need parliamentary approval for ratification as the overreaching agreement, the Panmunjom Declaration reached at April summit is already being reviewed by Parliament after the government submitted it last month. Rival political parties at the National Assembly clashed over the cabinet's approval of the summit agreement, with the ruling Democratic Party saying that the parliament should ratify the Panmunjom Declaration signed in April, while the conservative opposition bloc claimed that the administration is disregarding parliament. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.